Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday, February 1st. It's 4.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The futures markets just closed about eight minutes ago. You can see my uh, computer clock here. Uh, 4.08 Eastern Standard Time, February 1st. On my left is the time in sales. The E-mini S&P currently trading at 28.25. We have another really great video for you today and I also have a video that will be a explanation and education on Renko bars. I'm going to cover that and also how Renko bars work in automated trading, the, the pros and the cons. So Really great day for the auto trader today. Once again, the DAX just uh, has been really impressive for a very long time now. Uh, first up is the DAX on the Super Echo 14 tick, and uh, this is the one with the higher goal, 32.50. And this basically hit its goal, and we have a market order when we hit our goal, so we had a couple ticks slippage at the end here. but. This was done on two trades back to back, and it just goes to show the value of a swing like this. Uh, this swing, and then not even all of this swing, yielded 32.25 on just two contracts. So imagine if this swing went all the way to the end, it would probably be close to $5,000 or more. And then if we scroll on the chart forward and look at the size of these swings, there's just a tremendous amount of money in the DAX. Uh, a move like this, uh, if you caught this swing, is thousands of dollars on two contracts. So the DAX could be traded with a smaller account on a single contract. You would want to probably go down in time frame where the where a swing like this is tradable on, you know, say a six Renko chart or something like that, or a or a 150 tick chart like we show. But there's very sizable swings throughout the London session and the U.S. session in the DAX market. So going back to our two trades here, uh, very, very nice back-to-back -back, uh, trades hitting our goal uh, with no losers and no drawdown on this. Okay, next up is the DAX on the 150-tick Heiken Ashi chart. And the goal on this is 2550 with a loss limit of 1500. That's a really good ratio. This did 2737, so we had extreme positive slippage on this. And you can see we probably had a push down here and uh, almost $200 in positive slippage. That's quite a bit. And once again, almost $3,000 just on these two swings on two contracts. That's very, very impressive. Two winning trades back to back on this DAX chart. Okay, the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick with a $2,000 goal also hit its goal. This one has tighter trailing stops. We can see that here. We got stopped out where the DAX with the larger profit goal went all the way here on this uh, trade. So, I, I, you know, I could change the stops here, but I have them different for a reason. There's sometimes where the tighter stops on this catches smaller swings and this one hits, hits its goal but the other one doesn't. But the reason I show all these different DAX charts is to show the versatility of the auto trader, also to show the great volatility in the DAX and how the auto trader can trade many different time frames in the DAX and still have positive results. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on the 987 tick Heiken Ashi chart and this uh, hit its goal of 1300 for the day on two trades. We had a very small loser. This didn't trade till late in the day here. And we drew down about $500. This is trading three contracts, and then we had this really nice short trade here. Okay, the crude oil on Precision Renko chart, eight ticks with 150% reversal. In any case, uh, this did pretty good. Our goal on this chart is 1,000, so we had a couple of ticks positive slippage. This is also using our line break logic. Okay, next up is the DAX on 150 tick 
regular line break chart. And you can see our first trade, we got stopped out, drew down about $500. And the stop out looks like it's in space here, but the reason is, is there's no tails on line break bars. So price could trade down here. Uh, if it were to close down here beyond the volatility stop, we would have had a reversal bar and it would be red. But here's our volatility stop here. And so this bar traded down here and then closed higher than this bar. And that's why we got this small looking bar here because we had a higher close. And same with these subsequent bars. So there may be tails on some of these bars, but they're just not visible. In any case, we had a loser and then we had a really nice short trade here. We got filled on our limit order and hit our goal of 1500 for the day. Okay, next up is the bonds, 30-year treasury bond on the Superenco 2 tick. This is using our line break logic on a Superenco 2 tick chart in the bonds. This did 1187.50 for the day. Our goal on this one, I, I think, is it's 1200 so we had minor slippage and two very nice looking trades here, two winners on two contracts. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on a 987 tick Heike Nashi chart. This had a single short trade and hit our goal of $1,000, trading only two contracts. Indeed, our goal of $1,000, and there was quite a bit more to go here. Okay, a spectacular looking short trade on the crude oil 377 tick line break chart. This one did 1,040. I'm guessing our goal is 1,000 on this chart. Indeed it is, so we had positive slippage. And a perfect entry and exit. It's about as good as it could get on a swing like this. And this is one of the advantages of line break bars. It shows the true trend of the market without the noise. Even though, indeed, you can count on it, there was some pullbacks here and some grinding back and forth but this move basically took place in about 30 minutes from it looks like 1045 1050 all the way to 1120 so this it's probably a, a pretty organized drop and steady any way you look at it, no one can deny that this is an impressive trade by an automated trading system. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a 1597 Heike Nashi tick chart. And again, a really impressive short trade hitting our goal in a single trade on two contracts. One thing that jumps out at me is just look at the, the signals on the BWT trend indicator. Here's our arrow. This is the price where the momentum change direction and so a fantastic uh, short trade all red bars all the way down here from 2833 all the way down to two, a low of 2010 that's 23 points and then these swings here uh, very attractive looking tradable looking uh, swings given by the indicator and then the subsequent rally from the 2820 area up to 2833, a 13-point move. Going throughout the day, another huge swing here. These are all tradable swings uh, given by the indicator, and certainly you could potentially refine these signals even better just with the indicators. Back to the trade on this chart. Uh, pretty impressive. Okay, the bonds on the Super Renko 2 tick. We've seen this quite a bit. This was pretty active today. Only drew down a little bit off the open. About $130, nothing major. This is using our line break logic. We had an equity high of about 700 And we had a mixed winners and losers here and closed out at 687.50 for the day. Okay, here's the crude oil on a Superenco 7 tick. So the story on this is I went to our YouTube channel and I basically uh, did a search in the videos page and I sorted by 
uh, most popular and what came to the top of the list was this chart and uh, I just pulled up on the chart here I uh, looked at some of the charts and I basically saw that we had this uh, crude oil and a Superinco 7 tick so I basically used the uh, template from this chart and uh, plotted it on this chart today so this is the same settings on a crude oil Super Renko 7 tick that we plotted a year ago and this is just demonstrating that some older settings still are relevant today. Okay next up is the gold on the Super Renko 14 tick and the market was quite volatile today. This did uh, 960 on two contracts. This trade came late in the session so pretty short move on two contacts. Two contracts yielded 960 for the day. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on the Superinco 6 tick. We've seen this chart a lot. This one starts trading pre-market. We had three or four losers in a row and drew down about $500. But once again, the auto trader uh, recovered to make a really solid gain trading three contracts here, 1,025. Our goal on this one, I believe, is 1,000. So not only did it recover from three or four losers in a row, but ended up with two ticks of positive slippage. Okay, the NASDAQ on the Superenco 10 tick was quite volatile today. There was quite a few trades. We had an equity high of about 1,300. And then we drew down after that and closed at 785 still respectable but quite a bit of volatility on this chart okay the bonds on a 377 tick line break this did 625 for the day had it not been for this loser we would be looking a little better but uh, still decent okay the e mini s p on the super Inco 6 tick that starts trading the second half of the day at 12 noon we started out with a couple of losers drew down about $375 and then once again came back from a deficit to hit our goal we had $25 slippage on two contracts when we hit our goal with a market order Okay, next up, the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 2 tick with a 4 tick higher time frame. This did 512.50 for the day. A couple of winners, a couple of losers. But we've seen this chart daily for quite some time now. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a regular Renko chart. Now, I plotted this chart just about a half hour before the close, and I put the auto trader on here because... I'm making a video that's going to explain Renko bars and I wanted to show the standard Renko bar that comes with just about every chart uh, package. And this has a limit order minus one tick as you can see here. And you can see that we got filled at the close of the bar minus one tick and that we did 450 in just 20 or 30 minutes of trading on this chart is quite remarkable. But uh, in my video that I will explain how these bars form, and they are tradable. Uh, certainly the trend indicator could filter out some of these red bars. It's totally possible. But uh, that's it. That, that's all for today's video. Uh, if you want to find out more, uh, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or please send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thank you for watching today.